hello i'm currently in thailand it is friday the 4th of january no friday the 4th of january saturday the 4th of january um and this is our last full day in thailand we're gonna go home tomorrow morning at around 10 a.m so i just thought i'd film a really quick haul we just had breakfast and um, i thought i'd just film a quick haul of the things that i found yesterday and the night before in the night market so i've done a few different vlogs i've done like a, a general vlog of our holiday and then I did a shopping vlog where we went to some shops in the daytime and I think we went to a couple of little stalls. And where else did we go? I don't know, shopping. And then I sort of showed you what I bought at the end of that vlog. So I'll link that in the description in case I've already uploaded that. And did another one, um, what was the other? Oh, floating market and night market. So if you're interested in Thailand and looking um, at the culture and the different markets and what you can buy and find and what it all looks like i'll link those videos in the description and um, before i show you my stuff that i bought yesterday I've got to do my mug of the day um so i've just had breakfast and i had a quick it's really hot it's about 31 degrees so i'll probably get increasingly sweaty as this video goes on which is nice nice for you um, at least you can't smell me i'm actually i actually smell okay but this is too much information anyway we just had breakfast and i asked for an extra coffee um, so I could just bring it back and do my mug of the day. I'm about to get ready and go down to the pool. So I just thought I'd film this and then, yeah, get my sun cream on, swimming cosy on and then go and join the others because they're just having a bit of table tennis. I've got a coffee and it's really nice. This is the Sun Sea Sand or Sea Sun Sand Resort in Thailand. And it's between Bang Sere and Jom Tien if you know Thailand and it's absolutely lovely. Right, so I'm going to start off with a present that I got for Toby and I got him some other pyjamas, little elephant ones, but he said they're a bit scratchy so I found some really soft pyjamas. Um, I suppose they, they could be a little, a little outfit but he would wear these as pyjamas and how cute are they? They're really really soft and this is Thailand on um, a top and it's got a lovely elephant on a tree stump. And yeah, the material is kind of waffle material, so it's really lovely and soft. So that's the top, and there's some shorts as well, some drawstring shorts. Yeah, and they are lovely. And these were 200 baht, which is about five pounds. So I'm just gonna say it in pounds rather than keep saying baht and pounds because it might get a bit confusing or annoying, I'm not sure. So I'll just say the price is in pounds. So five pounds for this little set of pajamas. And they wouldn't haggle. They haggled on a few things, like they, came down for me in price but not a lot really in the markets um i also bought oh i've just dropped them i love these okay so sliders i haven't really got the hype about sliders i love flip flops ah, sorry it's just down there i love flip flops and then lee um always wear sliders and he's like oh sliders are amazing and i think i've had a pair they weren't that comfortable then i saw these and thought they are so cute they say on them d duck happy i don't know what that means but how cute are they and these are so comfy. I tried them on, I was like, I'm gonna have to have them. And they were, how much for these? Just under four, about three pounds 80. And again, she wouldn't haggle on the price. So I had to give her all the money, which was fine. But you know, I've got to try. So yep, some sliders. These soaps smell amazing. And I don't use that much soap. Well, I do, but you know, like liquid soap. So hand wash and shower gels. And then I smell these. And actually I've been using a soap in the hotel here. They've got a really nice natural soap and I keep using it. So I'm going back to soap and these smell incredible. I wish you could smell them. So this is mango extract soap and it's on like a, I think it's like it's got a loof on the back so you could scrub yourself as well. And they smell so good. Literally smell just like mango. And these were just over a pound for two. I think it was four for like a deal. So me and um, my dad's wife, Buran, we got two each and I think we paid about £1.20, it's about 60 pence of soap. There's some lovely soaps. And then I saw some socks, which is a bit random, um, but they just, they are so cute. And I was like, I've got to have to have the socks. And these were three for, how much? Just over, three for £1.50 or three for £1.40. The maker's vivid colour um, and they're just so cute. So I think they're probably for kids, but he said they're for adults too. And I was like, okay. Um, and I do need some socks. I've kind of run out of socks and I didn't get any for Christmas. So these would be like my Christmas socks. So I don't know what that is, but it's cute. And then there's a little pig on this one. I think that's like a pig chef, <laughs> pig chef socks. And what's this? A little tiger on that one. They're really cute. Love them. So yeah, 
some socks. I also bought Ewan a present. So if you did watch the vlog where, um, hopefully I've uploaded it, or I will soon, in the floating market, I saw this. I thought that is perfect for Mr. Carrington. Um, I watched one of his videos and he's another YouTuber, by the way, in case you don't know that. And he um, he said he, he hadn't got, he hasn't got a camera case. And so when I saw this, I think it's more of a like bag, but then, that's like a perfect camera case so I thought he'd really like that and it's got a strap as well it's quite it's quite well made it's not leather but it's um it's really cute so hopefully if he's watching hello you and this is for you so next time I see you I shall give this to you and that was one pound twenty I think I offered him a little bit less <laughs> I think I offered him a quid in like Thai Bart money but he said no I was like okay I'll have it for my friend so a little gift for you and a camera case so cute. I've got a camera case for my camera. Not that I use it, I should use it, but I just still keep using my phone. But yeah, I had to have that for him. And then I bought some candles. I feel like I should have got some more of these because they're so pretty. And these are 50 baht, which is just over a quid. So about one pound, pound 25 or one pound 30. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, there you go. So really pretty different tea lights. And last time I went to Thailand, well, it's about 10 years ago, me and Lee bought some of these. And yeah, I don't think they smell, but they're just very pretty, some little candles. And the last few things I'm gonna show you, the clothes, <coughs> excuse me. So I've got a, just a really plain, simple vest because when we fly back, um, I've got some, not trousers, I said trousers in the vlog, I didn't mean that, I meant I've got some like jogging bottom, like leisure pants. And um, they're really comfy. They're just like, they're like basically pajamas, but they're, you can wear them if you go to the gym or something. Um, so I'm going to wear them. And I thought I didn't have like a black top. So this is just a really plain and simple black vest top with a racer back. And that was £1.20, I think. So yes, a very simple, I think it's cotton, um, black vest. Doesn't tell me, yeah. So it's nice and stretchy. So that will do for the way back and to wear on top of that in case I get a bit chilly I bought myself a t-shirt oh yeah so this was from the night market and this was from the night market everything else has been from the floating market apart from the soap I don't know I don't know why I'm telling you the ins and outs but just in case you wanted to know where they were from so this was from this was actually during the day so I was on we went to John TM Beach and I nipped to some shops and I bought Toby some um, the other pyjamas that he said were a bit scratchy and I bought this as well so this was a hundred baht which is about one pound fifty or one pound twenty one pound thirty something like that and it's just really cute this is Thailand and there's different elephants on it's quite nice and large this so I'll probably wear this on the flight home as well because it's just so comfy the flight's about 12 hours so it's quite a long flight so I should be comfy in these a bit in the coffee and I'm not too sweaty, I'm not doing too bad. It is really hot, you know, and the, your hair like sticks to your neck. But I'm not complaining because as soon as I go home, it's gonna be absolutely freezing. Right, so yeah, t-shirt. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you is a beautiful, oh, my hair's really sticking to my neck, a beautiful dress. And, oh, this has fallen off the hanger. And I got this at the floating market yesterday and I wore it last night and I did put a picture on Instagram. I've also got lots of my stories of Thailand on my Instagram in case you want to follow me there it's Kate McCabe that's my account and I've got a house account which is Kate's Homely Home but if you want to look at more Thailand photos or if you're interested have a look on the stories and the highlights there's Thailand part one and part two and there's lots on there you can you know you can see if you want to and of course I'll link the other vlogs if I've up uploaded them already this dress I've seen this dress everywhere so in a lot of the markets and the shops along the beach you'll see the same um, the same dresses basically but different patterns and I really liked this one so I was going to get it in a different um, there was different a different pattern and then when I saw this this was my favourite so I'm glad I waited I paid a bit more for this it was eight or nine pounds I think this dress but I needed an extra dress and it was perfect for last night so just quite a simple top um, it fitted really nicely elasticated waist and then it just flares out to the bottom and it's kind of just above your ankles but it's different I don't know like a handkerchief bottom if that if that makes sense so it sort of sways around and some parts are slightly shorter it was really nice on like elasticated waist I didn't try it on in the shop because I kind of thought it would fit and when it's got an elasticated waist and like back part you know it's going to be okay so yeah that was the last thing I'm going to show you my lovely 
dress that I wore last night and I'll, I'll obviously wear that in the summer as well and when we go off on our holidays in the summer. So that is everything. So I didn't spend a lot. I don't know, it's probably around 20 quid or 25 pounds or something. So not a lot of money, but yeah, I love the shops here in the markets. They're just really cheap. And apparently if you go like further into Pattaya or further out to the night markets, they get even cheaper. But I'm really glad with everything um, that I've bought. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a like and if you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do. And I'll link my Instagram accounts in the description if you want to go and have a look. And also some other videos from Thailand if they're already um, up and uploaded. That doesn't really make sense, but you know what I mean. Um, so thanks for watching. I will have a weekend vlog for Monday and then some other vlogs, Thailandy ones. I'm not really sure because I'm filming this, um, obviously, before we come home, but there will be some more vlogs on the way. So thank you very much. And once again, Happy New Year, and I shall speak to you soon. I'm now gonna get some sun cream on, get my swimming cozy on, and go and jump in the pool. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, I forgot to say, I also bought this as well. It's a tripod, and this was three pounds, I think, or just under three pounds. Well, I had a little barter with the lady, but it's a really good sturdy one with bendy legs. I'll just bend a leg. Oh, there you go. So that was the other thing I bought from the night market in John on John TN Beach. Okay, I'll go now. Bye.